So, um, earlier you mentioned that you'd been in jail before. Can you tell me a little bit more about your criminal record? Well, uh, I went to jail for drugs. Um, I got busted for holding heroin for a friend, and uh, you know, I knew guys inside who were like way more than I did, but they got far less time. But I wound up with a judge during an election year, decided to make an example of me. Wouldn't listen to my lawyer, wouldn't listen to me, threw the book at me. So. I was in jail for a lot longer than I should have been. It wasn't a big deal. It shouldn't even have happened at all. But, you know, so I wouldn't worry about it. It's not going to affect my job or anything. Well, does this sound like someone who's been fully rehabilitated? Honestly, not to me. Why? He's done everything he can to dismiss and diminish what happened. He keeps saying that it was other people's fault, that it wasn't a big deal, that they just had it in for him. At no point have I seen him take responsibility for his own actions. That is what employers are looking for. They want to see you take responsibility for your decisions and your actions. And much more importantly, they want to see that you've turned a corner and set your feet upon a new path. His answer simply did not convince me of that. Let's try again. So, David, you mentioned earlier that you had been in jail before. Can you tell me more about your criminal record? Well, I went in for narcotics. Um, I was addicted to pain pills and then later heroin, and I was too stupid, too stubborn to actually go get help. And uh, then I got caught and I got busted holding and I got locked up. Uh, while I was inside, the first time my daughter came to visit, um, I saw in her eyes the kind of pain I was inflicting on her and my family and myself. So I decided I was gonna do something about this. So I enrolled in all the mentorship programs that they had in prison. I got in every vocational and educational program I could and really started to turn my life around. Uh, I promised myself from that point on that you know, I wasn't going back. So now that I've been released, I've joined my church. I have recommendations from both my pastor and my parole officer. And I think this ambition to be a better person and to be a better worker is really what you need in your company. Now, this is a story that employers are going to be interested in hearing. Why? This is a redemption story. This is a man who has made it his mission in life to become a better employee, a better human being. And I believe him. He talks about some of the specific steps that he's taken to rehabilitate himself, the classes he's enrolled in, his involvement in the church, and he's talking about his reason, his motivation for wanting to do better. All of this combined is going to make me, as an employer, believe that he has truly put his past behind him, and that if I hire him, I'm not going to have to worry about him doing criminal activities as one of my employees. In other words, I feel reassured and that I can trust him. This is exactly what an employer is going to want to see. Well done.